Hey there, boys and girls. Welcome to Fog's World. You know, guys, today, I had today's episode all recorded, and I was just getting ready to sit down and edit this thing when Mumbo happened. Yeah, spooky sound right on cue, huh? Uh, Before I start the episode, guys, I just want to say welcome to all of you that have come here at Mumbo Jumbo's recommendation. Uh, from the Mumbo Jumbo channel. Uh, I've been watching Mumbo for a very, very long time since he very, very first started on YouTube. I've watched his little channel grow from nothing to the monstrosity that it is now and loved pretty much every minute of it. I won't say I watch all his videos because I don't have time for that. Goodness knows the guy puts out tons of them, but I do watch a lot of them and I love them. Uh, So guys, if you're coming here from Mumbo Jumbo's channel, Thank you for being here. I hope you enjoy what you see. I hope you stick around. And I hope you tell your friends to come and watch Fog's World. I really do. And I hope you enjoy today's episode. And once again, Mumbo, thank you very much, man. I am really honored. I love your stuff. You know that. We've talked before. If you ever need anything, just let me know. Well, guys, let's start today's episode. Hey, hey, guys. Hey, boys and girls. Welcome back. It's Fog's World. Here we are in the nether, standing at the top of this thing. And you know what? It's about time that we finish this. Or at least got a little bit farther on it, huh? What do you think? Ow. (laughs) So this is what we got going here. I got the very beginnings of our item collection system built. Uh, We're in a pre-release snapshot I would not be surprised if by the time this video is released, 1.8 is out. Um, It isn't out as of the time of this recording. We're in pre-release 2. But, you know, it's close. It's close. So this is what we've got here. These are uh, four different collection systems. What we're going to... Oh, hey, hey. What we're going to do, I'm going to build a killing platform that is four chunks in size. And uh, these are the guys that are going to collect things for me. So basically, we're going to have eight rows this way, and eight rows that way, and eight rows that way, and that way, with four different uh, four different mine carts to collect it all, and it's all going to come down into here. We have four little collection systems here, and. Uh, the reason I'm doing that is because I'm afraid that if I were to just do one mine cart, that it would quickly get overwhelmed with all the drops in this system. I'm hoping that four mine carts will kind of even things out and make it so that it's doable. Um, no guarantees, though. I am a little worried that even this might not really be enough. But we'll see. We'll see. I think, I think it's good enough. I think it's good enough. So what we're going to do, I got a bunch of materials here, and I'm going to go ahead and build the floor, and uh, we'll start from there, because I got to build this thing out right here, this thing you see here. This has got to go all the way over to there, like this. By the way, a little trick, if you're building floors like this, do it on the diagonal. I'm holding shift so I won't walk off. I'm hold. I've got this at a this line at a 45 degree angle. I hold down back and right, and hold down the right button. And you'll find that's a lot faster than just doing it backing up. It goes quite a bit faster actually. So there you go. Little little tip for the day for ya. It is definitely faster to do it on the diagonal. And the reason is that you're going in two directions at once instead of one. You're going back at an angle instead of straight back. And so you get the benefit of a little bit of extra, I don't know what you call it, a bit, bit of extra velocity if you do that. So there you go, a little tip for you. And I'm going to just go ahead and leave this stuff there until I have time to build out the rest. So let's see, this has got to go out all the way, just shy of, shy of this chunk. So these, these things down there, these mark the corners of the, of the chunk boundaries. And I'm going one short in each direction. 
as you'll see here in a minute. So I'm going to stop just short of that, actually. So I go one more, I think. I think this is right. Let's double check. Do, 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 do. Where's the number I'm looking for? I always have a hard time finding these things. So here's the chunk fifth. Yeah, chunk one. So this would be chunk zero right there. That's where the wall's going to go, right behind me. So the, the wall is going to come out to right there. And I guess now that I think about it, maybe I'll go ahead and put that extra one in. We'll cover the whole bottom chunk. Although it is, you know, it is unnecessary to do that bottom. Yeah, I don't know. Nah. It just, it disturbs me to do things that are unnecessary. <laughs> so I guess I won't. I'll stop short. Yeah, so let me, I'll go ahead and work on this and we'll complete a lot of this off camera and then we'll come and talk some more. All right, so I've got a platform built here now and what I'm trying to do is figure out uh, what kind of pattern I need to get these rails to work reliably. And I'm going to go ahead and get this set out. I'm going to see if this is going to be enough. Um, pop this on and pop that on and we'll see what we get here. Um, let's see. Does that get me enough or do I need more? I'm thinking it's probably enough, but I might want a little bit more just to be on the safe side. You know what I mean? So let's see. If I do... Let me get back here. I want to put something in this. So here, we'll do this. We'll do this. We'll put you right here. That should pick up. Drop there. And does that get enough oomph to get it over there? It does. Okay. Well, that can work. That can work. So this has got to go like halfway to make this work. So I'm going to do this. Yeah, okay, first, before I do this, I gotta place, I gotta place all these switches underneath. So let's do that before we go anywhere else with this. So let me get that going. All right, we got it done. Took a little bit of doing, but here is the complete floor. Now I had to make one minor compromise, and that was right over here. You notice that we've got a couple of blocks here that ordinarily I wouldn't like to have. And the reason those have to be here, this turn has to be shorter, is because if this turn were to go all the way here, that bit of redstone right there would cause this to operate as a switch. And that means that it would change direction when that turns on and off, which means when things are unloading. And uh, that would mess up with this powered rail right here. This powered rail would switch directions when that changed. We can't have that. So I had to build it all the way out to here. So now I'm going to go ahead and put the put the top on this thing. We need to have another layer up on the top. Build that all the way out and uh, we'll be good to go. So let me go ahead and do that and then we will talk some more. See you in a little bit guys. All right, now we have the whole killing floor done. Now it's time to box it in. Now this is actually one wider than it needs to be because I'm going to put a row of glass around here to act as the outside. Like this. So we're going to enclose this whole area in glass. And we're going to have a, an opening that is four tall so that it's high enough that it can spawn ghasts. All right, we've enclosed this thing. Now what we have to do 
is get those guys to die. <laughs> and the way we're going to do that, hopefully I've got enough of this stuff. We are going to uh, turn loose a couple of iron golems in there, and that should do the trick. So let's go ahead and get some <laughs> get some iron blocks going here. Ah, I love it. Okay. Yeah, thanks, dogs. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, go ahead and build a couple iron golems in here, and we'll be good to go. There's one. There's two. That should be enough to get things going for starters. I need a few more iron blocks. I'll probably put a couple more golems in there before I'm done. But that's enough to get the process started. So these guys, let's make sure all the... All of those things are moving. They should be. Yep, they're all moving. So that's good. So... You can see these guys are going to clear out all these, uh, clear out all the pigmen. Uh, as a side bonus, they actually are going to get me uh, extra drops as well. Um, and if I really wanted to, I could probably rig up some way to collect all that XP, but I'm not going to do that today. Now I should be able to get up this high. And now, the only thing that is within range of the spawning is that platform down there. And as you see, these guys are going to go and clean that all up pretty easily. I need a few more iron golems out there to catch these guys in the corner. But uh, that should be pretty good. This thing will also spawn the occasional, uh, occasional ghast. And... Uh, while the iron golems won't go after the ghasts, they will go after the zombie pigmen, and if any ghasts happen to be in the way, well, they'll kill them too. Yep, see? There's a ghast right there. Alright, so let me go get some more iron, and I'll be able to go after these guys once that's happened. I also need to encase that stuff in gla glass so these pigmen can't spawn in there. So, let me go get some more iron, and uh, I will be back, and we'll finish this thing up. All right, we got enough for three more now. I have to be careful, because these guys are going to just tear me a new one if I'm not careful. Ah, darn it. There we go. Okay. Alright, let's go repair this. And then I need to cover this so that these guys can't spawn down here. Alright, I think I got her done. Near as I can tell should be all ready to go. We've got several of those guys in there. We've got one, two, three, four, five iron golems in there. That should be more than enough. Oh, actually it might be more than five even. Let's go take a look down there and see what we're getting in terms of drops. So this thing will occasionally spawn ghasts as well, as I mentioned. It will also occasionally spawn regular zombies, believe it or not. And these guys, with the new new 1.8 mechanics, these guys will go after the, the other guys, but uh, they'll go after the mobs, but the mobs won't go after them, which is a big win. Now, you're going to get the occasional thing like that... Uh, 
that little nugget that's stuck there. Every now and then something like that's going to happen. That should get cleaned up as this thing drops more nuggets through there. Uh, hopefully that'll clean it up. So, you know, maybe maybe we lose a little bit of efficiency that we might have gained if we had just done hoppers all the way across. But good heavens, that's so much more fun. Well, guys, I completed the farm, and it's working great except for one tiny itsy-bitsy little problem. And it's not the gas that's over there that's the problem. You can see these guys are going to town. Everything's working great except... Watch what happens down here. Um, because of where... Whoa. Uh-oh. <laughs> Darn it. Because of where this thing... Yeah, that's not good. Stop it. Because of where this thing is, I am now... I... Uh, those... The... Whoa. <laughs> those guys up there? The... Okay, all right. The problem is, because the iron golems are considered to be extensions of myself, whenever they kill a zombie pigman, or even attack a zombie pigman, that turns all of the zombie pigmen around me aggro. So, as you can imagine... That's a bit of a problem. So, like, I'll come down to the bottom here, and I will suddenly find myself under attack. And it's a very dangerous place to be. So, um, I'm gonna have to fix that. Now, I have a plan for fixing it. Hopefully, I don't get attacked when I come through here. Hopefully, hopefully. Please don't attack me. Oh, I'm being attacked. Oh, whew. Yeah, so it's dangerous, to say the least. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, the plan is I'm going to have to relocate the farm. Uh, I have to build, rebuild the farm higher up. Because where it is now, um, if I were to build it more than 64 blocks above the floor, above the ceiling then uh, it would still function, but um, I wouldn't be within range of... Well, there would be no zombie pigmen within range of the iron golems when I'm down at the bottom, and therefore the iron golems could not kill the zombie pigmen and go aggro on me. So, uh, as you can imagine, I'm going to have to do something about that. So what I think I'm going to do, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to relocate that thing. I'm going to build it up higher. And, uh, yeah, then uh, I guess we will talk again after I've relocated. Hopefully that will fix the problem. I think it should. So I'll see you in a little bit, guys. All right, guys, I'm back. I have relocated this. I am now standing almost at the top of the chunk. Z232. I'm standing in a little bitty box. And why am I standing in a box? Well, because I need to be out of the way of any ghasts that somehow manage to get free. So I am hiding in a box. Yep, hiding in a little box. This is exciting footage here, I know. I have been hiding here pretty much all day. So kind of like 11 hours. I left it running while I was at work. And... <laughs> Uh, as you can see, it's kind of a good thing I did because this thing's been running long enough now that all the iron golems eventually have been killed. <laughs> that is one downside of this is that eventually the iron golems die, which is kind of unfortunate. So it doesn't run forever. That is just one of the disadvantages. It is not a permanent deal unfortunately. But it, this did solve the uh, pigment attack problem, I'll tell you. Um, it does have one other little side effect, and that is that um, it being this high up seems to affect the spawn rates. So uh, the pigmen aren't spawning as frequently as I would have liked. But as you can tell, I got several gas tiers, some magma cream, Lots of gold nuggets. 
<laughs> Lots of golden swords that I don't need, but I got them. This is from before, before I moved it. But yeah, it, uh, it's doing okay. I need to rebuild my poor iron golems. I'll come back for that in a bit. But uh, yeah, so far I'd say this has been, this has been a success. This, this seems to have worked just fine. So I'm happy with it. Uh, I am going to need to occasionally replace the iron golems. Kind of a pain. But, you know, whatever. You can do that. It's been effective. That's all that matters. So anyway, guys, that's it for this episode. Uh, I will talk to you all again next time. If you liked what you saw here, you know what to do. Leave a like, and if you want to see more, subscribe. We do it every week. Go tell your friends and go tell your enemies to come and watch Fog's World. We'd love to have you here. All right, guys, we'll see you later. Bye-bye now.